grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to all of you and welcome to this episode of Coffee Time with me, Father Sam. And I know it's been uh, several weeks since I've had an opportunity to do a Coffee Time, uh, but we've been very, very busy, as you can imagine, with the experience of the Eucharist devotion that is now underway. And I am actually standing here uh, outside um, the exit of room 11. That's our final room, the road to Emmaus. I don't want to show you too much, but I'll just give you a little peek in there. Ah, look at that. Uh, but it's going really well by God's grace. Uh, we've had uh, probably over 1,500 people so far come through the devotion, and so we're really grateful for that. We've got so many great stewards that are working so hard to uh, keep the operation going. You know, the greeters, the media attendants, um, those who are um, guiding um, um, the operation uh, have worked so hard and we're um, I'm very very grateful. Uh, we could always use more uh, volunteers though so if you haven't had a chance to volunteer you can still come down to volunteer or call the office or go to the website eme2023.com and uh, that could be a way that you can serve as well but um, you know I have to say that I've been very impressed on on how well uh, it's going. I mean it's Quite an operation. If you haven't had a chance to come through, then uh, you, you know what's involved and how much work um, uh, that it takes. Um, and uh, we're really just uh, grateful to Almighty God for allowing us to have this uh, this beautiful devotion. And uh, uh, people are responding. I mean, there has been several uh, people tell me how moved they are by, by going through the devotion, seeing how much work has been done in each of the rooms, each of the stations, hearing the narration, the full story of this conversion. Uh, it's really a conversion story of a young man who comes to understand uh, the importance of the Eucharist and how it does truly feed him, that the Eucharist is true food uh, that feeds our deepest hunger for, of course, life, love, joy, peace, freedom for God, right? All of those, of course, the fullness uh, of those desires are filled in knowing God and having that grace fill us through uh, the gift of the Holy Eucharist, truly Jesus's body and blood. Uh, and so uh, if you haven't had an opportunity to come to or sign up for the uh, devotion, you can do that at eme2023.com as well. Better hurry though, we only have another 13 days or something like that with today's the 11th uh, another 12 well, 11 days so we're about halfway through uh, so uh, don't wait you're not going to be able to get a spot if everything's filled and, and that we don't want you to miss this very unique um, devotion again as I mentioned before that there's probably nobody there is probably nobody in the country doing anything like this uh, and we of course are doing this as part of our Eucharistic uh, revival um, that is called for by the bishops of the United States and so we are uh, really taking that seriously and uh, we've had a number of field trips so other uh, schools and faith formation groups come through from different parishes and uh, that's been uh, really great to see um, and we are we have a number of others signed up uh, in the next uh, 11 days or so uh, but we are um, really fulfilling, I think, the, the mission uh, of our parish, that is to evangelize God's people, beginning with the gift of the Holy Eucharist. That is what we do. And we will continue to do that here at St. Joseph's because we know that the Eucharist is the center of our faith, right? Jesus is truly present, and he who is the source and summit of our faith is um, with us. And that uh, in the Eucharist, we experience uh, his presence and we are fed by him. Uh, truly eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Um, so I'm glad I've had a, had a chance to do this coffee time here on, as a break in the middle of the day here at the experience of the Eucharist devotion at St. Joseph's. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who wished me a happy birthday. Uh, we had a little get together on Friday, October 6th, on my birthday in the evening out here in, in the parking lot in front of the hall. And it was great to see all those who had a chance to come. Uh, it was really, really very touching. And so I'm so blessed uh, to be your pastor. And um, I uh, had so much outpouring of love and uh, so many people say happy birthday. So I am so grateful and gifts. So thank you for all your gifts and your cards and your prayers. And that's really what, what um, I really need is your prayer. Like I'm, I'm praying for you, you continue to pray for me. 
and that we can help each other uh, grow in this gift that we have and this incredible gift of our faith, the incredible gift of knowing our Lord's real presence in the Eucharist and to truly be able to, to be fed by God uh, always. And then, of course, to feed others, and that is what we need to do. Uh, we need, yes, there's so many people that are in need of God, and our world is in such desperate need of God, as you know, and that we need to continue to pray, pray for all, um, especially those who are victims of violence and, and war, uh, those who are in war right now in, in Israel. Well, I cut the video a little short, uh, so I just wanted to do a little ending right here, I guess. Um, so thank you uh, for listening. Please share and like, like and share. And um, have a most blessed day. And this is Coffee Time with me, Father Sam.